regarding matzah shira or egg matzah. The halacha is like this: Ashkenazim don't eat matzah shira. Sfaradim, the minhag is quite conflicting. Why? Uh, many Sfaradim would eat egg matzah before the Chag. During the Seder, the Zdarim that we have too, nobody would agree that you can eat. Nobody eats egg matzah. You're not Yotze if you're eating egg matzah. However, the problem starts later on. Let's say during Chol Moed or the days after Pesach, if I can eat egg matzah or not. So the Ashkenazim don't eat it. I mean, I thought, but as the Ashkenazim, I mean Ashkenazim who are... You know, who are Haredim. They're not, not like, you know, some uh, temple, something, you know, in downtown nowhere, you know. We are talking about, you know, real Bnei Torah. They would not eat egg matzah as well. They don't eat egg matzah. Sfaradim like this don't eat egg matzah. Why? Because there is a machloket between two main branches of poskim. Let's say contemporary poskim. On one hand, you have Arav Shmuel, Shlomo Amar and Rav Ovalia Yosef. On the other hand, you have Rav Bakshi Doron and Rav Mordechai Eliyahu. Rav Bakshi Doron and Rav Mordechai Eliyahu says you can't eat that. Why? Because to the rich matzah, <coughs> they usually add, uh, add uh, ammonium bicarbonate, which acts like an agent to raise, to fluff up the, the, the matzah. That's why it's easier to eat it. According to them, that serves as yeast. And therefore you cannot eat it. Rabbi Vadya Yosef and Shlomo Amar say, no, it makes it fluffy, but it's not machmitz that, so therefore you can eat that. However, all of them agree that any combination of water cannot be added. That was the big machloket in Israel eating what we call Rabbi Vadya cookies. Mm. Rabbi Vadya cookies are good. I like to eat it Erev, Erev Pesach. I dip it in, uh, in coffee. Oh, delicious like that. <laughs> But yeah, but on Pesach, it's a problem to eat it. <clears throat> what they call papushado or Aravadia cookies. That's the best. Uh, the pre Pesach, that was my pre Pesach delight when I was a kid. A big Nescafe with this and dip it like this and nothing like it. <clears throat> However, because it's made out of only out of wine. Once you add water, all bets are off. The problem in America is that you, it's near impossible to find. Any reliable hechsher that will give an egg matzah kasher le pesach, uh, 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 you know, egg matzah kasher le pesach hechsher. The badatzim in Israel, badatz eida, badatz this, badatz. <coughs> Excuse me, they don't give a hechsher for matzah shira for pesach. They don't. So the chances of you of getting that are very slim. And if there is a hechsher that already gives that, it's quite questionable if it is a reliable hechsher or not. Therefore, Matzah shira, unless it is done for a chole, a person who is sick, or a person who is old, they cannot eat the matzah, there's no way for them to eat the matzah, regular matzah, they can eat it. However, during the zdarim, you're not yotze because it's not considered to be matzah. You don't make, uh, on that kind of a matzah, you don't make hamotzi, you rather actually make mezonot on that. So you're not yotze with this matzah altogether. And try to be very careful. Don't say, oh, we Sephardi, we can eat that. It doesn't mean that you are Sephardi, you can like, uh, you know, eat now everything. It's enough that we eat rice. We don't, you know, just chill out a little bit, enjoy, eat the appropriate matzah, and Hashem Yerachot Chem Be'atzlachah, and Brachah, and Bechol Ma'asei Yedachem.